Good morning again from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending plenty of love to you as usual. Um, really cold out here, Gordon Bennett. Um, get ready for more interviews coming up um, this week. I'm hoping for one tomorrow, but we'll see how the travelling goes. Been doing a lot of work lately. Sorry to keep with the theme of the violence. Many out there talking about fantasy fights and asking me um, to do matchups and I do the best I can. And then you've got others going in saying it's not realistic and yeah, you're clickbaiting, but hold on. I don't think I've got any history for clickbaiting, mate. I just listen to my audience and what they like to hear and answer the questions in my opinion, humble opinion, as we all know. And that's why I love you all, because as much as there's a few debates about which way, you always keep it respectful to me. So this morning, I'm going to spoil you all once again. And KZD, that comment you made a little while ago, um, what a comment. And it's absolutely true. In the jungle, you could have been heavyweight world champion, mate. Uh, you could have been 10 foot tall. You could have been 4 foot tall. It don't mean uh, it's in a boxing ring where there's rules and everything, where fights have different outcomes and many, many upsets can happen. Is this one an upset? Let's go into it then. It was the 90s. And I was all alone in the jungle once again. It was summertime, so everybody was out on the exercise. Now, in the cat exercises in the summer, it's much better than the winter. <laughs> Sometimes in the winter on exercise, not a lot of people go out there, if you get what I mean, cooking, staying on the wing, keeping themselves tidy away from the yard dramas. But in the summer, it can be absolutely packed with, that, with everyone there. So... Exercise is finished. We're all walking in through the door that leads to the wing that we are all on, right? So a few of us are talking, hustle and bustle and that kind of stuff, what we're going to do. Summertime, you come off the wing, it's still association normally, if you get what I mean. Not all the same in all prisons, but in cafes it is like that. Now on this particular day, Warren Slaney had been eyeballing a geezer called Mark Blake. I think he was from um, Cambridge. Tall, about 5'11", but built like a tank. And a real, real problem for everyone. This geezer wasn't having a bar of it. He was like, he was, so, he was a bit like Boxer John, right? Sadly, rest in peace, our Boxer John. But without the love from anyone. Because Boxer John, you've got to remember, a lot of people like Boxer John. Let's never forget that about um, poor old John um, and Amici, right? So they're eyeballing, eyes set upon each other. It's been a few days, Warren, Warren usually. Uh, I don't like the look of him. You can just see it, those piercing blue eyes. Mark Blake is looking straight at him. Whatever the weather, whatever you're cooking, I'm eating. So we get into the passageway before we get onto the wing, right? And still looking at him, deep in his eyes, Warren looking up at him. Um, Mark Blake's doing this, look, like he's ready for Slaney to throw a punch. Hey, hold on a minute, you're expecting it, <laughs> but you ain't taking no chances. So you've already started fidgeting. Warren looked at him, bang, the big sledgehammer left. Huh. Blake held it, right? Threw two back, bang, 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 Warren, huh? really? Bang, 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 free. Blake, free, one, two, three. Martin Valentine did this, elbowed Warren that way. I forgot the other geezer who elbowed him the other way, but there was a few people breaking it up because why? The screws were coming. So it's in one of those places where it can come on top and you can get nicked straight away and both of you end up down a block without a fight being finished. So Warren accepts that. Mark Blake accepts it. So they come back onto the wing. Um, so Mark Blake goes to the left. He goes up there. Warren's doing this with his lip, right? But he's shaking his head. Nah, 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 nah. That's not how it's going to go. Blah, blah, blah. But Mark Blake looks familiar. Whatever. You want to have it anywhere, I'm ready for you. So he's stomping up the stairs up there. Slaney's stomping up the stairs up there. So I'm thinking... Everyone's thinking, well, hold on, this ain't finished yet. So they go up onto the freeze. Slaney comes back round that way. He ain't even gone back to his cell, right? So he knows that he's going up there and he comes round to the left. Mark Blake is meeting him head on, mate. So they meet square on, right? 
rat a tat 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 because his reach is longer, Mark Blake. Warren soaks up the four. Bang, bang, uppercut, right, left hook. Mark Blake kind of staggers a little bit. Still they're exchanging, right? So uh, you've got four or five people following behind Warren, right? No one behind Mark Blake, right? <laughs> Not really the flavour of the mob in there, right? I'll tell you more about this geezer one day, right? Now, it goes, they're going back and forth. So no one's really going backwards at this stage for the first minute or so. And then all of a sudden, Warren landed a big, massive left hook. Um, he was still on his feet, Blake, right? So, but he's going backwards now. And and then Warren's moving forward more, gives him another three or four. It ends as, it ends up in someone else's doorway, the cell, right? Um, in the summer, you can bang yourselves up if you want. Bang the doors while you're on the yard. A lot of people leave their doors open and tell people watch my cells while I'm on the exercise yard, right? So this Mark Mark staggering now, Mark Blake, right? So it looks like now Warren's. It looks like it could be the end that he's looking for so he's going backwards going backwards mark blake and warren catches him with that final left hook and he, he drops outside someone's door but none of their own cells right but mark blake gets back up but warren could have jumped on him and stamped on him and everything but warren was just looking like to say see mate you see you shouldn't have let him get back up mate he got back up and threw two more but warren's head just went like that like that Banged him again. He's gone into the cell now. And then all of a sudden, um, another two from Warren Slaney. Everyone's at the door. And he ends up in a heap on the bed, but not on the floor. Warren banged him again. Banged him again. But then the bell's gone from somewhere. But the screws are not outside. So Warren gets out of the cell. Gets out. They, everybody. Um, I think Martin Valentine, to be honest, he loves Warren, doesn't he? Uh, Martin Valentine's doing that. And, and, and getting him away and shielding him and coming down the stairs, the screws are running that way. But they get Blake. Blake gets brought down the block. Later on in the day, they come for Warren Slaney. <laughs> and he's down the block too. <laughs> but my God, what is it? I'm telling you, mate, don't matter about the size. Warren Slaney fought all the big lumps and all the threats, all the people that could be problems to him. He never ducked anyone so just to set the record straight today because i'm holding on to three massive ones from back in the day and i'm holding on to massive ones from all the men i've mentioned back in the day but uncle yami always saves him for the big day we put up the appeal thing this morning a charity linked a new one that they can go to i'm waiting for a representative from the slaying family to get in touch with me to come on my show where we break this thing this um this innocence um, side of things and I balance it up fairly like I always do, like I did this morning. Um, so that will happen, all right? So we're just doing that now. But answering those questions, some of you lot, don't matter about the size in there. You can either have it or you can't. A lot of those big names will tell you it's the heart that wins. Half of it, 60% of it is bottle and average, right? And the rest of it is ability. Mate, and if you've got the full lot together, obviously the power's going to matter in the end. And the other, <laughs> the other thing that Warren saying to Warren, you know, yeah, but whoa, there was a real problem. He was average, at me. That was <laughs> when you talk about certifies. He goes because them scuffles can happen very, very quickly with no planning. So it could look like someone's staying in there and they've had to go back and all that. But when you put them all in the cage, they always used to say, let's put Gary Nelson, Kevin Lane, Tony Argent, Warren Slaney, um, and a few others. Let's put them all in the cage together and let's, let them, let's see who comes out. That's one of the, one of the famous cat A stories. Oh, I'm trying to think who's going to be the last man standing there, if you get what I mean. But I'm coming up with more drama in a minute.